Sama again from SSLTrust.com Australia and in this video I'll be showing you how you can successfully install an SSL certificate on your website through the Google App Engine. So let's get started. So as you can see we've set up a node sample app on Google App Engine which is routed to our domain name sslguides.com.au which is not currently secure and we're going to move move on to make sure it is so the first thing that we're going to do is scroll down on the ssl trust website and click on the csr and key generator under tools and services so now we are going to generate a csr or a customer certificate sign -in request so basically a csr or a customer sign -in request is nothing but a request initiated by you the client to the certificate authority which contains all necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form on the technical side it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate so now we're going to type in our domain name with or without the www name of your organization the organizational unit such as IT your locality or your city your state your country your email address and the root length let's go with 2048 and click on generate CSR So this is your private key and if you scroll down you'll see your certificate sign request. It is uh, recommended that you store this in a safe location on your computer locally and we are going to move on to purchase and configure ISSL certificate now. You can keep this tab open or save it in a note or a text file. Okay so I'm here on the SSL Trust homepage and we're going to move on to purchase and configure our SSL certificate. So basically, they, we have a few types, different types of SSL certificates meant for different purposes and different levels of validation with different levels of validation. And SSL Trust has, has established partnerships with all leading SSL brands. So you can choose to get a, an SSL certificate depending on your needs and what uh, your business does. Or if you need any help, with choosing your SSL certificates, you can easily contact our support team or our sales team at SSL Trust. So for this video, we are going to go with a standard SSL certificate. Click on the certificate if you want to purchase it. Scroll down, choose the duration of the certificate and click on buy SSL. Once you do that, you can now check out fill in your details and choose your payment method and click on complete order. Once you're done with that, you can go to the SSL Trust dashboard and choose your SSL certificate and click on start certificate configuration. You can, or you can provide the following URL to the appropriate person to complete the configuration for you. But we're doing this ourselves, so here goes. So paste in your CSR here. We have our CSR right here. Copy this from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes. And paste it right here. Click on verify CSR. And if your details pop up right, then we're good to go. Server so type, uh, there's no option for app engine, so we're gonna select other. And click on next step. Fill in your details. Your email address. And if you have a technical individual doing this for you, 
please if you have an admin go through his or her details here otherwise we can use admin details for now and we are going to click on next step so now comes the important part which is domain control validation basically you need to prove the ownership of your domain to the issuing certificate authority and you can do it by one of four methods the first one is the email method here in which you should have an email address with this uh, e name you should have an email with this exact address and you'll be sent an email once you click on that you can approve your certificate request and your certificate will be issued in this method you will need to navigate to this directory within your server and create a text file with this name and paste in these contents and the third and the easiest method which we are going to use in this video is the CNAME record method so you should have access to your DNS settings with your DNS uh, domain name provider or your hosting provider if your name servers are all bit there so we're going to copy our CNAME record and head over to the DNS settings and we will add a CNAME record paste in the DNS name and this is the alias copy this and paste it right here can now click on name and click on create once you're done with that you can submit your configuration for now okay our configuration was a success this is our order number and our statuses that we're awaiting validation and click here to access the validation manager So as you can see the DNS record propagated really quick and our domain was successfully validated and now please note that this method may take a few minutes up to a few hours depending on your DNS uh, service propagation speed and if you, the domain control validation does not autocomplete which uh, is rare you can click on this button here select your uh, method of domain control validation and click on submit this should refresh the details on the certificate authorities end so now and one more thing if you're ever lost you can head back to the SSL plus dashboard and select your SSL certificate and there you can reissue or reconfigure your certificate and there'll be an option here called access validation manager so you can you know, access your validation manager from there too so that was it and you can also check your DNS uh, records uh, propagation speed at dnschecker.org which was available before uh, just below the CNAME record thing where you can click on that button and verify your DNS setting but as, as ours is done we're going to move on to install our certificate now so let's close this up so now we need to access the app engine and we will go to app engine Once you're in Google App Engine, what we will do now is scroll down to Settings and you will first need to add a custom domain but you'll move on to installing an SSL certificate as we have already done that. So you, the same process, you need to verify your domain name and click on SSL certificate and we're going to upload a new certificate. So what, we'll, what we will do now is head over to SSL Trust Dashboard click on your certificate and click on the collect or download certificate button here 
and copy the certificate to a clipboard and paste it right here after you've pasted your primary certificate what we'll do now is copy the intermediate certificate to the clipboard and we'll uh, press enter and append it after the end of the line so what this will do is minimize browser security warnings and will ensure that your certificate is installed to its full extent we will copy our private key to and paste it here and click on upload and we will enable SSL for both the domains and click on save so this was how easy it was to install an SSL certificate on the Google App Engine okay so now let's check the installation of our SSL certificate type in HTTPS colon double slash www.yourdomainname.com click on enter and as you can see our connection to this site is now secure and we've successfully installed our SSL certificate one more thing we can do is test the installation of our SSL certificate you can go to a website called ssllabs.com and copy your domain name and click on the test your server button here and paste your domain name here and click on submit so we'll wait for the test results to come okay so we're done with our SSL apps test and we've got an overall rating of A everything is good to go basically if you've got an overall rating of better A or better than A then you're pretty much good to go the SSL certificate is working perfectly on your site so you can expect to stay as safe as possible so I hope that you were easily able to install an SSL certificate on your website if you've got any uh, problems or doubts you can type them in the comments below also I forgot to mention that there is a written guide attached in the description of this video and that's it so if you were easily able to install an SSL certificate on your website please like this video questions put them in the comments below and thanks for watching and until next time then